Hello and welcome back to Iratus. It's time to terrorize a bunch of humans. Oh crap. The place of power that can restore mana to Iratus or Vigor to minions. Ooh, but I'm not really struggling for Vigor right now that much. I mean, we're kind of healing up. So I think we might just take the mana. Uh, considering. I just go with the mana and take out take the first squad. Let's go. Uh let's just refill mana. Let's go to battle. Alright! So, what the hell are we going to do? So, we got the guard already, pretty boosted up. This guy deals 17 damage. And they all have really high sanity. So, they're even tougher to get through like that. The guard actually has 9 physical armor. That's, that's insane. So, the hunky is easier to take out. Wait, this deals true damage. Have a warm end, my friend. So if you try to go for the Oh my god. I mean I'm in trouble. This ignores armor. That's pretty good. And at this point, I think we're just gonna go for a stunning fortitude. So he's the one who's gonna take take damage. Yeah, I mean, we didn't get into this uh, situation just so far, and it's just insane. Okay. Yeah, this physical damage, but it's random, and it's it's gonna hit the guys that, you know, they are extremely good against it. So, in this way, like, even spending a time... Deals... A lot of stress damage, and they all randomly swap, swap positions. Uh, I don't know if this is what we're gonna spend our our turn on. Oh my god, this guy's getting further boosted. We can we can stress them out even more. But I think we're just gonna keep keep defending. We're in trouble. That is for sure. We can deal a lot of physical damage, but actually this is not worth it. It's better to do fiery explosive. Because this deals true damage. Which is just amazing. Yeah, that, that was pretty bad. Let's keep dealing true damage to the guard. Uh... Well, I, I guess we're just gonna stress them out. Wait, he threw a trap. Block. The Wraith is not very tanky. Oh my god, the, the zombie is going to die. So he's taking 9 true damage. He's gonna take at least 17 true damage. There's a chance he's going to die. Wow. But the chance is not... Well, it's not not guaranteed. 17. I can't really take that chance that he's going to die. It needs to be taken out. Abyssal Bombardment. I'm gonna be the one who's acting, even after that. So taking out this guy would be pretty sweet. He needs to be taken out, for sure. Okay. More material. Wait, what? Ooh, okay. We need to put a, a burn on him. So he dies for sure. Wait, what? I think I just... No, no, it's gonna be good enough. But I just made it longer, I believe. So it wasn't as effective as I hoped. Oh my god, this guy's gonna hit me pretty hard. Well, whatever minion moves, attack it for a shit ton of damage. Okay. 
Okay, we can stress them out again. He's gonna come soon. All, all of them switch to positions. Nah, that's not what I want. We can remove some evasion, but that's not super important right now. It's gotta be like uh, turn four. Like we can, we can still put a flaming skull in there. And by the way, cover this. The chance to flee increases by 20% before the beginning of their turn deals uh, stretch damage to all allies equal to 20% of their current remaining sanity. Uh, remo uh, lowering the sanity. Yeah, at zero sanity the target has a chance to die when receiving any amount of stress damage. But yeah, I mean, okay, he's going to die. We cannot stress them out with the zombie. The zombie just should focus on not dying at this point. Hope there will still be enough left to reanimate. Okay, I, I guess he's gonna do an abyssal bombardment. And uh, we might just go for a, 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 a standing fortitude. Have a warm end, my friend. So we get hit. Wait, what? How does he have max HP? Fuck me. We're in trouble. Doom we are in massive trouble. But both of them have a pretty good chance have a warm end, my friend. Of, of dying to stress. I can just scream at them. Yeah, let's just scream at all of them. Oh, died to stress. That's good. We didn't lose anybody. Game is hard. Using it as so we found some flash bones, heart, architect souls. That's fine. Okay, full heals, uh, bride of Iratus, graveyard events. So the banshee leveled up. Two guys healed up, and we managed to make some building resources. We can head into the graveyard, take these guys out, because obviously uh, they have no reason to be there anymore. And we can just keep the Banshee in, but I feel like maybe no. <laughs> and uh, what is next? Artifacts. We have some artifacts. Iratus recovers 8 mana each turn. Oh, one time use. It embellishes my Okay, all enemies feature. lose 15 accuracy until the battle ends. One time use. Maybe that's better. Unlocks the secret iris spell. So we can keep using that secret iris spell. Oh, these are all the humans. But holy shit, there are a lot of humans in the game. We need more XP for the main guy. Can I somehow make that a thing? The library is where he gains XP. We would need a, a knight in there. But sacrificing the knight. We can only make a Bride of Viratus. Do, do we need a, a, a guy? Okay. Uh, we obviously have to put in the zombie and the skeleton here. And it would be the best if these guys uh, maybe uh, <laughs> took a time out. The Banshee. I can take the Banshee on position 2. Although it's better on position 3. Absorb fear. No. I think she's just gonna get destroyed <laughs> on position two. I think she needs to be position three. But at the rate, we can put him on position two and put the uh, banshee. We can lower the damage by six. Let's go for Crescendo. Results. 
Okay, what we got here? So three guys. They're just trying to find some stuff. Every turn. I can't build that. I can sacrifice a Banshee for that. To do what exactly? To get even more resources. Sacrifice a mummy? We don't have a mummy. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, sacrifice a skeleton. So these are all I got. We can sacrifice this Banshee if you want to. And make a Bride of Iratus. I mean, we can try this. No, 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 that's not, not worth it. I, I don't have enough minions for that. I think this Bride of Iratus is gonna just chill there. Uh, just check, check the XP. Okay, now we can put in the skeleton here and he's gonna level up to level 3. This Bride of Iratus, big fucking question where she should be. She sh doesn't have any spot to go to. <sighs> Maybe the Wraith shouldn't be in, because there's a decent chance that he's going to die. Can I just give this uh, Bride of Iratus a brain? So it's just not super dumb. Maybe it shouldn't be for her, because she already has 1 XP. Uh, maybe the zombie? But if, at that point, I'm, I'm really committing to zombies. Just give a zombie a brain, okay? So the Wraith is going to take a timeout. Yeah. And this zombie is going to get a brain. Uh, where we can find a brain? Brain free to the zombie. And with that, he's gonna go for igniting mixture. I think that's that's actually pierces damage resistance, which is insane. Serve me well, my. Man. This is stress related, so that could be extremely good in a in a team that's built for that. But early game, I feel like that's not not really viable to build such a team. I like that too. So we can go that way, and we can just hit everyone for physical damage. Ignore his armor. I mean, that's not that bad. Because for this, it would be 18 guaranteed damage, ignoring armor. This ignores ward. I mean, that this might be even better, because ignoring armor is a, a, a major thing. I didn't realize it's gonna be so important so soon, but it is. And there you go. But what do we want? Do we want more HP? Or do we want more damage resistance? I think we might want to ignore armor here. Rather than deal more damage. I think we just gonna ignore armor. But we already kind of doing it with the fire explosive. So when would be the time? Where I would wanna rather instead of using a fire, actually there's a time because if we put on put the igniting mixture on them, then it's on them for two turns. But I, I can keep refreshing it, but I would just keep adding to the duration at that point. So yeah, it, it kind of makes sense to go for the igniting bug shot. Let's go for now, that. Prove yourself. So we're gonna have a level three zombie over here, and that's the team. I'm just trying to make sure nobody. Uh, is dead because I actually managed to lose a guy in the tutorial it's it's pretty easy and that was on like brain that easy difficulty and I was not much worse at the game uh, doing the tutorial than now all right uh, that seems pretty scary uh, I guess we're going with that squad I, I can replace the zombie in the back Wait, do we have someone? Ah, oh, yeah, we, we have someone who's uh, getting the XP. Okay, uh, I gu guess this is good. Uh, let's just head out. Uh, team 1, uh, good luck. 
Is that... Okay. We got Mad Mage. Deals a lot of damage. I can, I can go into the... A humanarium to learn a little bit about humans. That might be a good idea. Death comes from everyone. The entire point of this guy that he just takes damage and just tanks. He deals. Oh fuck! What does the stone golem deals stupid amounts of damage, and also it is resistant to. Uh, Stress damage and uh, very resistant to physical attacks. We can only hit the first two spots, so we can take out the miner that deals 16 average damage. Although it seems like the stone golem has pretty bad accuracy, but you know they may have may have a buffers in the back to make that uh, less of a concern. I can set the stone golem on fire. This is true damage. Magic damage. And I think that might be okay. Have a warm end, my friend. We don't have magic damage here. This is stress damage and physical damage. Oh shit, he has block on? I didn't realize. Stress attack. That that's the worst one. So these are the worst abilities of the Banshee. We can fill mana with the Banshee. Which is kind of nice. Magic attack deals uh, pathetic damage. Target skip their next turn. That's pretty good. So we might use this quite a bit. Uh, but we need some uh, wrath for that. Actually, we are we're not in position to use the howl. <laughs> oh my god, this is one of the best abilities of the banshee. But how the fuck do you live as a banshee if you if you're in the first two spots? I mean, like, well, you gotta be in the first two spots to use that. Let's just do a crescendo, but it's, it will not affect the stone golem. Wait, what? It, it will affect everybody. Except the stone golem that's immune. They all have less attack now. Even the stone golem. Okay. Uh, we can do an abyssal bombardment, but we just kind of see the problem with it. So this is kind of a bad... No, we can, we can do more powder before the Abyssal Bombardment. Okay, I think we need to set him on fire. So we're gonna hit like this. Oh, he's immune to fire? Holy shit. How the fuck are we gonna take him out? Oh yeah, this, this didn't put him on fire as well. Oh my god, we're in trouble. We're in big trouble. This guy needs to die. We can do a crescendo. Okay, let's just take out the humans first, I guess. And we, we're gonna consider the rest. Oh, that's, that's bad. Okay, well, I guess we're gonna slide back. Oh, this would be the, the boosted attack now. I don't know if I wanna use that. But we have to slide back to enable the Banshee to do something. Okay, miss. Very nice. So, it's immune to fire. We gotta take out the humans, I think. I, I don't know how the fuck to take out the, the stone golem. Not yet. <laughs> Oh my god, what? Oh, yeah, the mage dealing ma magic damage. That makes sense. Wait, does this also debuff their magic damage? I think so. So we can slide in the front. I don't know. Let's do a abyssal bombardment, maybe. Have a warm end, my friend. Do I have like special items that could help here? Is there a way to run away? No. Let's do abyssal bombardment. Let's do it. I just set them on fire. 
Oh my god, the, ma the mage actually has really high resistance. But uh, the fire is true damage. Actually, he has very low, relatively low sanity, but we can't really take advantage of that. Ignores armor, the whistling box shot. Fuck no. So, ignoring armor is, is actually a big deal. A very big deal. Oh my god, this game is awesome. You rarely see games like this these days. You know, you, you just see like very, very, uh, very minor effects. Uh, Mad Mage needs to die. End, my friend. No immunities. <laughs> usually. The mage needs to die. Is there a way to run away? If there's a way to run away, I fucking need to do it. He's pretty tanky. He's taking quite a lot of damage. I can't take him out. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Maybe we can do Howl. Let's do Howl. So the skipping turn works. Have a warm end, my That's good. friend. Let's take a back. <laughs> okay, just kill the mage. This is what a thousand years of evolution looks like? Yeah, pathetic. Kill the guy in the back. I don't know how we take out the smoke go stone golem. We, we fucking have to find out. <laughs> uh, this doesn't really work. Death comes for everyone. We can't stress out the stone golem. This will not work. This does jack shit against the stone golem. Murderer. Have a warm end, Immune to my it, but friend. not not the magic damage. We can reduce the damage it deals. Wait. We can make him skip it. Skip an action. Can we just keep increasing the power of our attack? <laughs> so eventually it's gonna do something. We're in big trouble. Why there's no running away feature? We need that. All enemies lose 12 vigor. Dark Knight receives uh, vigor. The amount of damage received by the enemies. That's actually amazing. But not in this scenario. We can make him skip a turn. I think we need that. Skip a turn works. Can we just keep pumping the gun? Just keep pumping the gun, zombies. We just try to, I don't know, make this uh, last longer. It doesn't work. Oh, I know what I have to do. Once we pump up the gun by a significant amount, we use the zombie special attacks for... Fuck, we don't have that now. Because I used up the the rat to, to shout. Use the crescendo. Each night, well, each time the knight receives a buff, Dark Knight, yeah, whatever, stress damage doesn't work. We are in big trouble. We can do free magic damage. End, my friend. And this deals at most, it, it just doesn't have a way to pierce the armor. Oh no, the Banshee is going to die like this. 
they all deal a shit ton of damage. I'm just, I'm just waiting. So currently we have a way to deal, like at least 40 damage with these gun, with the gun, but that's not good enough. He has a way to deal more damage. Is it enough? This guy would deal at least 40 damage, and the other guy would deal more than 40 damage. Let's do it. I think it's time to do it. He would deal at least 13 damage per, per, per shot. We just need to survive one round and be good. Wow. Not an ideal solution to this scenario. Take him out, zombies. Start loading your gun. We need that shit. Oh! Think not, zombie. Dark Knight is gone. Wow, we lost the guy. Okay, we got full heals, and the skeleton is up. This is terrible. Holy shit. Wait. Oh, that's one-time use. So that means... Oh. So if you put it in, you don't choose of using it whenever you want. You use it next time. Guaranteed. Uh, I don't know. Whatever. Stress damage. Can I get some abilities that uh, could help with situations like this? We can gain more accuracy. More initiative, doesn't matter. Five men after every fight. I mean, that, that, that's fine. Okay. Extends all ignition effects on the target by one turn. I mean, that's nice. So, as long as we... But actually, we couldn't set the guy on fire. So, it wasn't, wasn't good. At all. Iartus deals 30 physical damage. Additionally, deals... 50 physical damage if the target is set on fire. Uh, that's that's often the case. I have to set a trap at a chosen enemy position and explodes like dealing 50 magic damage. Now that would be really good in the scenarios like this. Because he would be in, uh, very vulnerable to magic damage. I'm not sure what it leads to here. But... In this scenario, the, the spine bomb would have been pretty nice, but I think we might have to go for just mana every My fight. Magic will shake the very because I don't have a lot of, of mana in the world. first place. So these guys are gonna be taken out. Uh, also, this guy is went to level three. Oh, no one was in the obelisk. That's a little disappointing. Okay, let's put her in the obelisk. I have enough to upgrade by quite a bit. But we first need some creatures. I wouldn't mind the Dark Knight here. Hardly an inspiring okay. leader. Bride of uh, for the armies some of luck. Undead. Okay, we got extra two creatures. It's not great, but it might be enough. So we can uh, get some tankiness. His evasion is terrible, so that's not something that we can reliably use. Uh, strength of mediocrity might be okay. Additionally, ally gains two attack and two dread until the battle ends. So we can stack up armor and resistance. But we might wanna go for astounding fortitude. So we gain just crazy amount of armor. What else we got here? We can stun a target for one turn. But in order to do that, we would need to be in the back. Uh, that's pretty situational. This ignores armor and block. And what about this? We get magic dam magic uh, armor, which is kind of nice. 
ignores armor and doesn't miss. I don't know. I feel like... <laughs> this is more useful. Even though I don't care about ignoring block that much, but we also get magic armor, which is quite critical for a frontline tank. I don't know, maybe I'm overreacting to the uh, armor situation here, but I, I think we need this. So this guy could be a tank. Surprise. These are not a great choice. Uh, we gotta put in uh, some guys to heal, so that's fine. The rate. I know at this point we're kind of getting to the point where we might be able to do two teams. But uh, maybe not right now. Do I have a brain? I, I can give the the Dark Knight an IQ of uh, 30. So he can be just super tanky. And we're just learning a lot about the game. So whenever an enemy receives a buff, a Dark Knight deals stress damage to it. But... Do you want to like spend a turn with doing the futile hopes and do the chance that they're gonna do a buff? Because many times they only have one buffer and that's just stupid. I don't know. I, I think I might want to go that way if you do do that. Just to get the, ma the, the magic armor. Iratus gains 8 mana. Iratus gains 18 rat. I feel like 8 mana is better because mana carries over to the next fight. Rat is just uh, relevant for the, the current fight. So I think that might be an okay choice. And he's gonna get in, uh, initiative with that. He's gonna be more tanky. Initiative. He's just a tank. Like, let's be honest here. He's just a tank. Can I... Can I upgrade this? Dark Greed... Enemies lose 12 Vigor, Dark Knight re recovers Vigor in the amount of damage received by the enemies. All enemies lose 15 Vigor, Dark Knight recovers Vigor in the amount of damage received by the enemies. So it's like 25% better than what we already got. Enemy loses 35 Vigor, Dark Knight recovers Vigor in the amount of damage received by the enemy. I think this is better. Because although it is less effective on paper, I, th I think it is like both uh, armor and the magic damage and health is fine. So, dark greed. So that's 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 both fine. We can we can just go for that. Just a little bit of tankiness. But is it possible to upgrade it? I, I think this is only becomes uh, possible once you. Or they upgraded the other ones. I expect results. I think we want to go for the mana boost. Let's do that. I don't care too much about uh, initiative. But uh, mana could be a good way to uh, get stronger. Abyssal Bombardment. I, I kind of hope there's like... I kind of wish there was like some way to make them more uh, versatile. But it seems like that's not an option. The zombie gains 100% damage and 20% accuracy for his next attack. Can stack. But the zombie does seem pretty good. <laughs> I wouldn't mind if they had some names. Just for the onesies. You know, I'm... I'm just getting attached to them. Ignores armor. I like that. I think ignoring armor sounds good, but it's 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 not gonna be uh but this is magic damage. It's definitely best if the the zombie is on the first two rows. Skeleton needs to be on the first two rows. It should be on the second row actually. Can stack. No, that's that's not great. The zombie is definitely not a tank. It's it's a damage dealer and even an odd one at that. But if I'm using him at, him at the back spot, what the fuck I should put points into? I think we might want to go for more powder. 
No, I don't know. I, I don't like the bombardment. I don't like the bombardment at all. It's not good. <laughs> I don't like it. But do I go for even more powder and could just commit to the bombardment? I think we might do that. Let's go for even more powder. Get back to uh, he's gonna be the bombardment zombie. The question is, what are we gonna put in on, on position 3? Because we got a Bride of Iratus, but she has no brain. She's dumb as hell. Uh, we can put her in. Let's see what we got here. Uh, well, the skeleton can be upgraded to a level 3 if we put him in. And yeah, that's that's fine. We got this zombie, but it would need to be on the position. Well, this could be on position three. But do I put this in on position three? I mean, it's it's okay on position three. Will the raid die? Will the bri bride of Iratus die? The thing is with the raid. Ah, <sighs> okay. Let's just put in the bride. What the hell? Okay, seems like we might be able to uh, tackle some challenges here. Alchemy. Yeah, we can upgrade. But this is just upgrade. We can upgrade the weapon. So we just upgrade the common into an uncommon. At this point, I'm more concerned about just like actually having guys. Okay, we got 50 mana. That should be good enough. Uh, let's just go. <laughs> the dungeon. Oh, we got a quest. Anyway, guys, uh, I think that's going to be it for now. Thanks for watching and see you next time.